ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Today we've been called by a customer that has an issue out on a farm. I uh, do not know all the specifics. Uh, could be kind of interesting. They said they were trying to get a header, like a combine header, into a field, and it came off the trailer and rolled over. I don't know if they were on a levee. There's a lot of levee systems around here, and a lot of farms with levees. I really don't know. Uh, nobody was injured. It's just uh, going to see if we can save the uh, header because they're not cheap. Anyway, uh, Ethan and I are getting ready to head that way and see if we can help him out. Here we go. Well, this is unusual. Um, we have no road. Not much of one anyway. Who said the rotator doesn't go off road? Okay, well, the road's not as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> From the picture, anyway. Yeah. I've got a lot, it's a lot wider than I thought it was. Okay. Where are you trying to get to it? Um, is that road going down? Yeah, it goes down, you can see the field, it just... Okay, yeah, soybeans down there? Yeah. Yep, all right. I broke, just broke the straps. No, it did not break the straps. No? Both straps are still on there. Oh, okay. Similar or another, she jumped out of the cradle. Oh, shoot. That's what we don't we exactly know <laughs> exactly what happened. <laughs> you can see the skid marks where she skidded on the ground. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. New, new, something new every day, ain't it? Ah, we love a challenge. These things aren't really designed to be sitting like this. No, it's, it's going to be. <laughs> yeah. Trying to find a good strong place to. Hook to, to rotate it. Yeah, to try to bring it back over. Because these, these aren't no. designed to do that. I know. No. What about the. Uh, it's going to have center. to be in the center. I was going to say, what about the center pivots? Right at the center of it. But then you've got all those uh, teeth. It'd be nice if we could roll it and just bring it right back onto the trailer, you know? Yeah. But I don't know if it'll do that. We didn't mess with anything when we had brother-in-law come pick us up. He's bringing combine. I brought taking this up, and there ain't no right. way I was messing with things. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get a recovery plan here. Be better to set up there and work through the weeds, or get down here where we can lift. It's awkward. It's only you said eight thousand, right? The header's only eight thousand. Yeah. All the extra dirt though, maybe nine. <laughs> the only problem is there's no really good hookup points on them. No, you, I think you have to come all the way back around to the front with the chain. And yep. If we break a couple sections, that, I mean, that's what's gonna. We don't care about that. That's yeah, minor. that's minor. <laughs> well, I do. I mean, I don't want to tear it up. You know, I'd prefer not to tear it up. Uh, I'm just hoping the cutter bar don't bend or anything. Gets right. That. 
That's the sections why sections don't bother me. Do what? The sections in the outer third don't okay. bother me. Come here and show me what you're talking about so that I so that we're both on the same page. Well if you come around anywhere up here. Uh-huh. And because you're gonna have to that's the only to me that's the only way you're gonna be able to avoid the reel. Right. And I think you're gonna have to come I don't know, we'll have to see, but and then come down here and hook to it somehow. I might but, be able to hook to it. Well, if we get into it, um, let's see. You might be able to hook to it where, like, the strap is. Well, I was wondering that too, but we don't have a really good uh, leverage point that way. Because the only leverage we're going to have, if if we do it that way, You'll have to come up and it's gonna to have to go over those teeth yeah. which I really don't I don't like doing that but uh, I don't see any other way though no not unless you come around these bars with straps because the whole yeah I mean if you hit it and mess with anything on this reel it's probably gonna bend okay would be my guess because they're not built for yeah they're, out, they're no no, they're that's mostly plastic. All the, the, yeah, all these are plastic. All the yep. Are plastic. Yep. Which that'd be replaceable. But yeah. I mean, the only thing I can think of, bud, we got those uh, aluminum channels that we use for rollovers. Mm -hmm. We could take the aluminum channels and cover the teeth there. So your straps don't get so, cut. So well, so the chain or strap doesn't bend your teeth. I'm not worried yeah. about my strap. My chain, those little blades aren't yeah. going to hurt my chain. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to bend your blades, your cutters. Um, boy. I can replace everything else. <laughs> uh, okay, so what if we attack this a different way? Rather than going off of that, can we go around these here and pull it down wonder if it would sit back down on the trailer if we would get it here redirect up there Ethan grab a hold of these a couple of well the two right in the center and pull it back this way like right up through there We could even uh, put a strap there, Ethan. Right in here, right around this. Yeah. If we could pull on it and just try to roll the whole thing back this way, roll it into the trailer, mm -hmm. and then put another line down on the trailer. Once this, once the header gets onto the trailer, or do we want to separate the trailer and get it out of the way first? can see how it starts to come and then unhook the trailer if you need to. The idea of the trailer coming, that going back on the trailer. That going back on the exact same trailer, well, exactly where it was, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, because there's actually like made, play anyway. It's actually made where these yep. set retinals. Yeah, that's what I, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. But right now, if we cut those straps, his header's gone. Yeah, that's what I'm scared of. Yep. That's the reason we didn't mess with anything. We don't unhook it or anything. We just yep. try to. Yeah, if we if we unhook the header at this point, it the straps are the only thing holding it from going against that tree. Uh, it looks to me like it's the, be the center is holding it down there. You are correct. I do believe. But do what, Ethan? So I'd be worried about the hydraulics there. Yeah, the is, hydraulics right there. This um, may already be messed up though. This has been into the pulley here too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's some damage there already, but our job is to try to minimize it. At, at this point, it's repairable. It's damaged, but it's repairable. We don't want to do any more damage to it if we can keep from it. 
Okay, so first of all, let's get the truck down here. I think we try redirecting off that tree, Ethan, or several of them, whatever. Um, we'll say there's not really any big... Yeah, I know. And the lowest one we've got is that one right there. Well, we can use... Well, there's that one or that one. That it's not going to take... It's not going to take much. Yeah. We can use a drag winch and redirect. That way we've got the boom free to lift and pick whatever we need. If we can just get the uh, drag winch to get it started over, then we can... Right back here. Okay. Right back here behind it. What do you think? Yes or no? Yeah. I don't think we're going to do very good from up there. No. Uh -uh. Nope. I'm afraid at some point we're going to have to pick that header. I don't like it, but to get it to fit back on that trailer, we may have to may have to pick the head. Either that or, well, no, I don't want to shift the trailer anymore because if we shift the trailer, the straps may break and it may go bye-bye. I mean, it may even want to try to do that with us pulling on the top of it because it's going to want to try to push that out, right? I was hoping to be able to, without getting into the teeth, you know what I mean? But it's moving with him just banging on it. All right, let me get back down in here. That's a lot better. Darn it. We need to be able to... We're almost there. If we can pull that trailer back with one, with one of the auxiliaries, let's run down here. Yeah. We pull it back just a little bit and it'll fall right into that trailer pocket. Do I need that hook? No, sir. Okay. Stay where you're at, please. Should be over here. Probably couldn't have. Uh, okay, so we can either uh, move the machine forward with the. I would just say pull the trailer back. Well, it's kind of what I'm. Almost right there. Yep. The issue is from this direction, it's gonna pull the trailer towards us as well. What if we went to the front out route? Not a hard part. No, we'll be alright. Bring it down here. Don't worry, don't get no slack. Alright. Uh-huh. 
They spool nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Trailer went on. It's all right. not wanting to pivot for me. Could you hook a chain to a tree down there? Pull the bottom back. And hold the bottom back. We may have to. No, because it's not doing what it needs to do. It needs to pivot this way. It needs to break over. And the trailer, unfortunately, it slipped down the wrong way. The whole thing's just... We're going to have to back up. Now, is, is that all the reach we've got? For a boom extension? Yeah. No. I don't have no more roll. Well, I locked the roll. But it's all the way back. And, uh, by the way, Yes, I know it does now. But if I lift it, where we've got it lifted right now, all the weight is swinging it in this way. I think that chance that is too far that way it's gonna pull it this way well no actually that'll work in our favor if it does Cause it needs to come back. yeah because it needs to come back
And you know what's going to happen here, right? It's going to fall into those straps and cut them. We can't do that. Put that angle on there now. Huh? So what if we put that angle on there now? Yep. Don't like this. Nope, no, I don't. Get your trailer out the way, sir. See, now I'm feeling better about it. Yeah, now it feels a whole lot better. Because yeah, we can, yeah, this is be well, no. Knuckle busters and teeth grippers. No, this is one where we still need that other line to pull oh, no, it down. I was, I was just saying, as a job. I'm not liking this at all, but what? I said no. I mean, even if we can put it down right where it's at, yeah. then we can bring it around. Yep. Just get that weight off the boat. Booming in some. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to. Well, my point was I wanted both of these. Yes, I know. Ground I wanted anchored too. That's what I'm looking for. I just got to, just got to give me a minute, okay? And then once it's anchored, we can see if we can let the drag off and reposition it. Now, I, now I think the drag is going to help us. We got it. Worried about that uh, drag strap. We're gonna slip, maybe. Nope. I think we got her right here. As long as it doesn't pivot on us. Watch that strap right there. That one. Blue. Blue. What about it? Do you not see what it's trying to do? Twist. No, it's going to cut into the. Sure. 
that's fine. That's what I wanted to do. It's not going to yet. All right, now I need the angles put in, put back in place. That's far as it'll go. I know. Yep, I know. It's gonna be close to that. Yes, I am aware. I am aware. Hoping the drag doesn't. Right now. That would be ideal if it will. Yeah, but I don't want it. I, I want to keep it in case it does slide. That's steel in it. Yeah, it's just a huh? It's just a bolt. Yeah. We'll take that off then. Well, I didn't want it kicking out on us, is what I don't want. All right, hold on, hold on. That's not under a lot of tension right now, is it? Not right now, no. We'll take it out somewhere. I got an idea. That. That's what I was just oh. trying to, that's what I was suggesting. I just wasn't verbalizing it properly. That should be enough. Main thing is so that the drag holds it. Oh my goodness. Gonna have to climb, buddy. Hey, you know what we should do? We should run it off of the snatch block up there so we don't. Well, at least get this over the over the beam for now. You're gonna need just a little bit. There you go. I just want to want that so it doesn't uh, roll off on us. All right, come on down, bud. I just I just want it so it's going to hold it. That's all I want. All right, get us some blocks. Wood blocks. That looks a whole lot better, gentlemen. It ain't great, but it's a lot better. Hey, you're almost got where you can just go get the combine and hook it up. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, I know. Yep, there's no pressure on any of the winches. It is sitting on its own at this moment. So, 
We've got a pick point here, sort of. Oh, you got, you could just look right we, here. Yeah, we can do a lot of things with it now. Yeah, right in the center. You're, right I mean, there. you've already got that. Because this up. is what holds the whole combine that sits on here. Right. So. But we have to be able to balance it. Yeah. Now. Well, if we take blue over to that side and run yellow over here. No, we don't want any of those going over the tines. We don't want anything going over the tines. Most of the weight's back here. Most of it is. Yeah. That's part, I think that's why it flips off. Yeah, most of the weight's over here. That's why I was thinking if we could get one line on this one and then two keeper lines to, just to keep it from going like this back and forth. Um, All right, Ethan, come here, bud. It's gonna take a couple of us here to... Gonna have to make sure that we get the... get the teeth and we don't bend anything up here. What do you think, guys? Yes or no? I think it's fine. It's, well, it's putting a heck of a bend on this saw blades. That's designed to give a little bit. That's designed to give like five degrees or something anyway. Okay. All right, we do need a tether line on it. We're gonna have to have a tether on it. Keep it from spinning? Well, it should, the way we've got it connected, it shouldn't spin much, but we still need a tether on it to keep it from spinning too much. Well, if we have to, we can always, we could always come out and go to the, these yeah. hey what Tag on that side. uh yeah i believe they put it in the front somebody screwed up the straps over there I know, tomorrow's training day, remember? Thursday is the day for reorganization. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we got training with a uh, regional team. Where you want? Back on that end so that they can, I can pick it up and they can back under the trailer. Now comes the hard part. Yes. Me back in the trailer up straight. I can position it. <laughs> now that we've got it lifted, now that we've got it lifted to where we need it, I can position it. You don't have to worry about straight. <laughs> What's holding it down there? Is there more drive gear down there? No, it's just leveling out. You're just on the hill. Yeah, this is true. This is true.
All right, what? Do not get yourself in between there in case something. All right, come on back. Worst, worst come to worst, we'll. Uh, Pull this table out of the way. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say worst come to worst, we can. Uh, Redirect and pull the trailer one way or the other. Double pivot. All right, coming up with the boom. He acts like he might have done that a time or two. Well, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Yep. Else. <laughs> you should be Well, it's all downhill though. Yeah. We've got it leveled, so if we don't get this side just right. Mm -hmm. Hold on, bud. I'm gonna have to let the heavy end down. Now, what's that gonna do with that, those teeth though, when I let this heavy end down, is it gonna, are those straps going to pull against the plastic? Just while we go down, I think we'll, we'll sit, put it in the trailer and we'll see. Let me get it down as far as I can here. I mean, you're going to hit this uh, skid plate right here on the beam and it's going to take a little bit off. Oh, it'll take a little bit. Yeah. They have to watch oh. it don't slide. Yeah. Well, just give me a minute, okay? I know, I'm just trying to help you out. Oh, okay. It's not going to sit like that. No. That's what I was worried about. What? Those straps up there hitting against those plastic rakes, the oh, teeth. Yeah. At the angle we're going to need to be at. That one worked out perfectly. This one didn't. Yeah. This, this one, one should have been under one of them instead of two of them. Yep. Well, we we had them both together. Now you should have been under two instead of three. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Well, actually, probably should have been just under that one right there. I was gonna say with that offset. Uh, needs to be just that. Like that, it's not gonna be right either way. It needs to be just that one. Yeah. Want to set it down here and go from there? Or? Slowly lay down like this. 
see what happens. Make sure I hit that pocket over there. Hold on, Ethan. All right. Coming around. Going down just a hair. Yep. What I was supposed to do is fit. Yep. That's I was trying to get it in there because as I boom down it'll uh, go forward a little bit. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Nope. Whoa. Well, something fell into place. <laughs> Me. <laughs> ah, right darn. There. That's good. Right there. Okay there. Is it? Yeah. She's got a little bit of room on her. Yo! Uh, on these straps up here, it's on the beam. We're not going to get our straps back. We'll get them out. That don't worry me. Okay. Ain't no, ain't no <laughs> problem. <laughs> yeah. well, let's get it on the trailer. <laughs> I'll get you straps back to you in five minutes. <laughs> we ain't, yeah, we ain't worried about that. Hold on. on that side, ain't it? Yep, just a second. I just don't want it to pop out of that other side. That's where I was at. I mean, it almost needs to go back towards our truck a little bit, too. It looks like it. Hold on. Watch out, bud. Watch out. Watch out. I'll say, if you can swing her this way, right there. That's what we were trying to do. We just had it, uh, it was hung on a pad there. Can you push it, Ethan? That should have it now. Right? Parking brake set on the truck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't make fun. Oh. Do what? It knocked no, the valve stem. It knocked off. the valve stem. Oh, it just it broke. Oh, okay. Yeah, it thankfully it didn't puncture the tire. Yeah, that's an easy enough fix. All right, are we good to let it go where it's at? If it's in the cradle. It's well, it's close. It's, it needs to come this way to get all the way in. Well, that, yeah, that'll be fine. The other one's up a hair, but it, it's fine too. I mean, I have no pressure on it. It's it's all the way to sitting down on your trailer at this point. 
All right, Ethan. Yeah. Let's break it down. What's that, sir? Look how it sets on this trailer. Yeah, I don't like that, but. No, I meant, uh, no, the whole machine. Yeah. There's so much weight. On oh, this yeah. Side it's on this trailer. side. Yeah. And then there's only two straps over here. Well, that, and you've got double pivot, mm -hmm. two pivot points. That tire looks awfully low. Uh, that tire ain't low, it's just the, there's that much weight. Just that much weight on it, okay. <laughs> I was wondering. Because we just aired them up. It's, it's, it's at 40. Gotcha. There's just a lot of weight on it. Yes, yes, there is. Kicking him out of the wheel a while ago? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. What? I said, <laughs> I said if I died, yeah. I was I just, I was just teasing him. Oh, I threw my kids that all the time. too greedy I guess. Like I kept telling them it wouldn't have been an issue if we would have been on level ground. Right. It's just the fact that the angle that we were at both long ways and sideways yep. was sort of playing against us too hard. Anyway, we're gonna find our way out of here, I hope. They'll get busy uh, get their uh, tire fixed, get the header on the combine, and start harvesting beans. Oh, there's the pond. Pond, okay. Oh, he was talking about uh, Oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Another successful one. Wasn't beautiful, but it worked. Nobody got hurt. Nothing got damaged anymore other than the... Uh, Valve stem on a tire. You know, it's like me. I ain't pretty, but I work. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you for watching and God bless.